You're listening to a Skewed Orbit original podcast. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to what you say, the Rachel LaForce show. That's right. I'm Rachel LaForce and this is my show for a show of any other name would just be harder to Google. This is a spiritual podcast from me, a comedian, because well, healing is hilarious. It's hilarious that we're doing this. Um, it's funny that I'm excited to be here today to be sharing this with you. I'm hoping that you have some of those like, oh, I hope I'm going to hear the messages that I'm seeking energy, right? I know that I feel that when I log on to listen to uh, messages or a podcast from other speakers, healers, communicators, creators that I really enjoy. There's always kind of this little bit of anticipation. So Oh, well, now that I've set the standard so high, uh, let's get into it. So maybe you read about what this week's episode is about. This is all about slowing down. And caveat, this is not like, this is the season to slow down. No, 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 no. This is like, flip it back, reverse it, slow it down as fast as you think you can go, go slower or like as slow as you think you can go, go slower. Like this is, I don't really care for this language, but this is a whole new paradigm shift. This is a whole new way of moving and being that we are being called to integrate. Why is it happening at, again, at least here in the States, this is fall. We're going to be going into winter. Things are getting quieter. We're slowing down. Um, I mean, one could argue that the holiday season is insane, but overall that energy, right, is like, oh, we're going to hibernate. It's cozy. It's hygie. And so what a perfect time to have three months to practice and integrate slowing down so that next March, April, May, things are really going to be heating up for all of us. Like it's going to be a little bit of like, um, I always say I don't like that the, the idea that the universe tests us, but it's certainly going to be this idea of like, um, okay, let's see, right? Like you're almost like your audition time for the universe. Like, did you, did you learn your lines? You know, did you figure out, did you make your choices? Did you figure out what you're going to do? That's really what it feels like. And and I cannot emphasize this enough. It's not like a warning or anything like that. But like, if you feel that this message is totally speaking to you, I really, really need you to hear this guidance. I don't want to say hear me because like this wasn't my idea. You know what I mean? Like this was, uh, this was a, a download. This was something coming to me through, you know, through messages, through my body, through nature, through everything. So I just want to be very clear. This is not about me. I'm working on this probably more than anybody else. But I really, really need you to hear this message, which is like, not only are we asking you to slow down, it's almost like if you want all of the things that you say that you want, all of the things you say that you're working towards, this is actually the way that we're going to do it. So it's not like there's so much, um, I think we always love to say that like we're patient if we know that the thing is coming, right? Like it's easy for my son, like uh, when our grand his grandparents come to visit and they'll be like, oh, we have a, you know, a surprise for you. And we, he may not get the surprise right in that moment. And we're like, oh, hold on. We got to sit down. We have to follow directions first. And then we get the surprise. Yeah, that's easy for him. He can be calm for the two seconds. He knows he has to wait until he gets the thing he wants. Now, if I was asking him for the entire day of being like, I don't know, like maybe this surprise will come, like maybe it won't, we don't know when it's going to, but let's have the behavior that we want, right? As we're working, he'd be like, what are you talking about, woman? Are you kidding me? I'm going to keep running circles around you in this target. Relax, right? And that's what we do is, okay, well, is it coming? If it's not coming, then I'm just going to keep going a million miles an hour and burn myself out and I'm going to do everything because I'm pretty sure that I can make it happen faster. 
And maybe that is you, or maybe it's just me and I'm fine to be speaking to myself today. I'm really, I'm comfortable and I'm confident in myself and I'm okay with this. Okay. But I'm going to guess if this is for me, it's for you. And at first I was like, oh, this is going to be so hard and it's uncomfortable for me to go slow and all of these things. And then I was like, oh my God, you big dumb idiot. Why are you looking at it this way? What a human, I need success, I need money, I need gratification, I need, I need, I need. Instead of going, oh, I'm sorry, you don't want to accept the huge fucking gift that you were just given, which is like, you don't need to worry about this part. All we need you to do is just stay present and just enjoy what's happening around you. And I'm the asshole that's like, oh, I'm sorry. You want me just to enjoy the season I'm in? Like, we're assholes. We really are. We really are. You know? It's like, and I'm not saying, I know some of you, you know, we're all in different stages of things going on. I'm not speaking to heavy grief. I'm not speaking to, you know, I'm going to trust that you guys are here with me. I'm talking about this day-to-day kind of dullness, And the boredom that we're asked to sit with sometimes or the uncomfortability of saving money instead of spending it, the uncomfortability of saying, I'm not drinking tonight, but thank you anyway, the uncomfortableness of saying no to that date because you know that that's not where you're supposed to be, but it's somewhat easier to be with somebody than to be alone, right? That's what I'm speaking to. And so I know that sometimes sitting with that is not great, but what we're doing is we're missing we're going so fast that we're missing those keys because we think that we can do it. And listen, I also want to be clear. This is a message that's tale as old as time. Okay. Like the amount of people and like religious books and everything else of people that are like, slow down, you know, the answers are there when you slow. like, I want to be very clear. All right. But I do want to emphasize the opportunity that we have right now especially for those of you that are not even seeking big things, whatever that next thing is that you're seeking and that you're moving through, you're not going to make it go any faster by doing more networking events or going on 75 million dates or like whatever the thing is that you think and you're like, no, if I just work harder, then I'll make, you know, $20,000 a month or whatever your goals are. And it's like, sure, maybe, but that's not sustainable. And we want to be fully present so that when we sit down on a date with that person, we can fully take them in, flaws and all, and be like, oh, holy shit, there's really something here. Rather than being like, no, on my checklist, I had that, you know, they look good in a backwards hat and they look stupid. So this isn't the one for me, right? That's what we do. We make dumb mistakes. We make stupid rules like that. And so we miss the opportunities that are presenting themselves. We're missing the opportunity to be present. And I'm going to guess, unless you found me and you're really in that like fully like, no, you don't understand. I just had the tower card. Like everything just fell down in my life, everything. And I've been there, right? Okay. Then you may be in a different phase of life where you're like, oh, no, no, no. Slow down for this, right? (laughs) And I've, I've, I laugh because it's painful. I don't want to laugh at your pain, but mine was hilarious. Uh, but, you know, time plus strategy uh, equals comedy. So I can laugh at mine now, but I'm not laughing at yours. But we do those times, especially those times that we feel like we're never going to get through, those seasons that feel so long and arduous, they're not there to be passed up at the fastest speed we can go right? We all know this. They want to teach us something. And especially for those of us, let's fast forward. Let's say you're in a different phase of life. Perhaps you're like me where everything is actually quite steady, although it's a lot of heavy lifting and it's a lot of massive change. And we've made some big declarations and we're making some big strides. Those growing pains are really hard to keep up with day in and day out. But that's what growing is is. There's not a a cheat sheet. There's not, there's not a way to pass this up. And the way that we choose to be with it is a really beautiful opportunity because all it's, it's a blink of an eye. It really is. And 
especially for those of us that were like, you know, think we're so spiritually connected or it's like, oh, I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I mean, sometimes again, you guys, I'm like, I don't listen to my own advice that's in my head. I have to go back and listen to my podcast because I'll say things and I'm like, yeah, that's a great piece of information. Maybe you should utilize that Rachel LaForce, right? And so this, this call to just slow way down, because here is the kicker all of this that we want to slow down so we can learn the lessons of what it is that we're going through or slow down, right? It's that, that very classic Instagram, Facebook thing where it's like, you know, we're living in the dream that we used to pray for or whatever. And I'm making fun of it because typically the meme has like weird butterflies or something and it looks like clip art. But the point is still the same of like, even if you're not to like where you totally want to be yet, or you feel like you're halfway up the mountain, like, you're halfway up the fucking mountain. Can you stop for just like a second and acknowledge everything that it took to get to where you're going? Because what happens is when we don't have that processing time, there's no integration time. So then we're more apt to go back into those cycles of self-sabotage, even if we're higher up the mountain, because we did not process and we did not integrate what it is we've already experienced, what it is that we've already learned. And that's why slow is better. Cause I will speak for me. I was like, you know, there's certain projects and things that I've been working on. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, this feels like it's taking forever. And like, I just want to be to the fun part. And it's like, why? So you can rush through that too, to go on to the next big thing that you think that you have to do so that you think, or other people think that you're a value. Relax. You're not that fucking important, you know? in the most beautiful way possible. It's like, this is for you. And I say that to you too, like whatever it is that you're doing, it's about you and your expansion and your growth. And yes, hopefully it's for you so that you can go out into your community and you can share and you can be a mirror of, you know, live, laugh, love. But we have to slow down. We're all going so fast. And the last thing that we need in a world of overconsumption and that faster is better and go, go, go is to have healers, creators, speakers, conscious business owners still adapting to that same way of being. We're not doing that anymore. We know that it does not work. We know that it leads to overconsumption, burnout not saying the thing we really want to say. Not every creative solution is a solution. We don't need AI tools to mind hack this and everything. And like, we, we don't, it's fine. Your workflow right now is fine. Your output right now is fine. We need you rested. We need you comfortable in your highest place of agency. And I want you to hear me say that again. We need you rested and in your highest place of agency so that you can navigate and make the best choices for yourself. So that when those big things come into fruition, you're able to navigate them. That's a big thing for me personally. And I was like, okay, great. So all of these things come into fruition. You're fit. You're famous. You're doing a podcast tour. You're going, you've got a theater tour. You're going, when things really speed up, and I know this from other, you know, parts of my life being on tour and things like that, during that phase of life, there is no processing time. You work literally the whole day, you go to bed, you wake back up, you do it over and over and over again. And that's where it leads to burnout and all other sorts of not great choices. So what we're integrating now is so that even when I'm being asked to move at that pace, because sometimes that's life, right? Starting businesses, having young kids, moving up the ladder in work, like wherever you are, right? There are going to be those phases of life. But what we want is when you can still move through them at a pace that you're comfortable with so that you're able to be there. So at least if you can be present so that you're acknowledging and taking in what's happening and then later we can process and then integrate, but at least getting to the place where you're fully present in everything that you're experiencing. 
to then deeper integrate and process those things because all we're being asked to do right now is deepen our capacity to stay present. That's it. Because to me now I'm finding it's like, oh, patience is the deepest sign of devotion. And I've been talking about that, right? That word of being devoted. And um, it always makes me think of, because of course she did, my favorite song um, from like second to sixth grade was, um, singing Olivia Newton-John's hopelessly devoted to you from Greece. I know, hold the applause. And I mean, I sang that song over and over and over and over again. I was obsessed. I was hopelessly devoted to the song, some might say. And I want to get back to that place of like, this, it goes into that idea of like allowing it to evolve and enjoying the process and all of that. But it's like, we're missing it. My dudes, we're missing it. We're missing all of it. And the interesting thing, and this has only been a practice for three days, okay? So I am no savant. But I was like, oh, there actually is enough time in the day. (laughs) And I actually can get to all of the things I need to get to, even if not today. And it's okay to be uncomfortable for a minute. We make it so much harder. It's like, oh, this is uncomfortable. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm never going to be able to do this. Yeah, well, who wants to fucking hang out with that person? You don't even want to be with you. And none of that's real, by the way. So like, if we already know that that way is not working, we have this beautiful opportunity to try something new. So let's try something new. That's all I got for you. We're going to be talking more and more about that. If you found that this message is for you, please go over and check out my Substack. I have a beautiful uh, energy reading for you that's over there. I I did a card pull that's really, really going to deep, like really, really anchor us into this new energy. And I would love for you to be able to participate in that. All of the links are down in the show notes. uh, And I'm just, I'm so grateful to be here. I'm so glad that you're here. And we are moving through so much this season and I'm just, I'm, I'm just grateful. So I'm glad you're here. Everything else is in the show notes, everything else, rachelforce.com. You guys know where to find me. Go and leave a review. It means the world to me. Get out there. Stay in it. Love you, mean it. Time, weather, and-